So sometimes if you've got all day to cook, so you grab a slow cooker, and sometimes you've got no time at all, that's where a pressure cooker comes in. And this is the Fast Slow Pro, the combination slow cooker and pressure cooker, depending how much time you've got. So let me just talk through the features of the Fast Slow Pro. First of all, we've got our selection dial here, and that's gonna give us the options of either pressure cooking, slow cooking, doing reductions, searing, sauteing, or steaming. And all we need to do is select our task. And because this is a smart interface, it's gonna give us a lot of selections for different foods, and it's gonna give us the appropriate time and pressure levels to get the best out of those foods. So we can choose between things like rice, risotto, potatoes, stock, soup, legumes, casseroles, pot roast, lamb shanks, bolognese, puddings, and you know custom settings. So that's where you can choose your own time and pressure setting. We've got a keep warm function, and I love this, a steam release function. So our hands are away from when the steam leaves the machine. And I'll just open up the lid. There's a, a safety release. The lid won't actually open if it's under pressure. And on the inside, we've got a steaming tray and a trivet for standing your roast out of, out of the liquid. And then a six litre non-stick pan. So I'm just gonna quickly whip up a simple lamb shank casserole. First, we'll, um, we'll go into the uh, searing setting so we can brown off our meats. And uh, the, the machine's telling us that it's preheating, so it's just getting up to temperature. So I've just got a dash of oil. It's gonna brown my uh, onions off really, really quickly. You can hear the sizzle. We'll just brown most of those off to get those flavors. Again, it's a non-stick pan, so use a, use a plastic spatula. I'm just going to toss our two beautiful lamb shanks in. Just to get a bit of colour on the outside of these. But now all I'm really going to do is chuck in all the other ingredients. I've got some carrots, some baby potatoes, some bay leaves. Some uh, red wine and some stock. So we just close the lid because we're going to want to go into the pressure cooking setting. We'll seal that across. Now we'll select pressure cooker. And we're going into our lamb shanks. And we're simply going to press start. So we've got 56 seconds to go as it's timing down. I'm just going to talk you through what happens next. So depending on the type of food we're cooking, the smart interface is going to do something very special with the steam. It's going to release the steam in one of three ways. It's either going to release it quickly, pulse it or release it very slowly. And the reason we do that, if you're doing stocks, you want to release the pressure in a very natural way. If you do it quickly, they get very cloudy. And that's why we, we have affected, I guess, the way the steam releases, particular for the food that we're cooking. So automatically now, the screen itself is showing that is releasing the steam and we won't be able to open that lid until the steam pressure has been released. Another safety feature. So we've just had the beeping of the machine, the pressure's released, it's now safe to open. So I now and only now can I lift the lid and those lamb shanks look beautifully done. So the beauty of pressure cooking is this meal has taken roughly 40 minutes to prepare start to finish. So there we have it, yeah, within 40 minutes and hopefully, well, definitely you can just see that this meat has just become so tender and it just falls off the bone. No need, no need for a knife at all. The fast slow pro, pressure cooker when you've got no time, slow cooker when you've got all day. It's a fantastic product.